everybody, it's me, Andrew, and this is going to be a reveal of the Kuan Yin Oracle by Alana Fairchild, um, Blessings, Guidance, and Enlightenment from the Divine Feminine. Um, this is a deck that I actually got because I had points that I had acquired on a card that I have, so I purchased this with those points because it's one of those, I love Alana Fairchild's decks in that they're they have a lot of depth without having too much depth, um, and the artwork is always just beautiful and stunning. Um, however, I love the Mother Mary Oracle and the Isis Oracle, um, but I feel like when I read with her cards, especially with especially with the Isis Oracle, um, I have to use the book a lot, and I don't really. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I like being able to use my intuition, and those cards are very hard to connect with with my intuition, and I have to use the book. But when you use the book along with the cards, it's amazing. But for just, like, cold readings, um, just drawing a card, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. But that's the only um, disadvantage of her decks, which is why I decided to get this one at, like, no cost. So I would, um, but I knew I would love this one anyway. Because this one is absolutely amazing. i got to find a way to open it. Ha, ah, this will work. By happy circumstance, I have safety pins. Right by my computer. Alright. Do not know. There we go. I literally just got this, like... I literally just walked in the door and saw it was sitting on the counter. So. The wrapping on this one's a little thicker than, than normal. Which is, you know, it's not a bad thing or anything. But, um... So, let me tell you a little bit more about why I chose to get this particular deck as well. Um, because I work a lot as... A lot of you know with Mother Mary. I work with Mother Mary probably more than anybody else. Um, I also work with Isis a little bit. And I have really wanted to start working with Kuan Yin. Simply because her and Mother Mary are synonymous in in their values. And it's just ones, they're just from two totally different kinds of cultures. And I think Kuan Yin actually predates Mother Mary by a little bit. Um... But they're actually called The Holy Sisters by Alana Fairchild. She has a meditation CD called The Holy Sisters, and it's Kuan Yin and Mother Mary. So I really wanted to get to know this, I would say this version of Mother Mary, but this version of the Divine Feminine that's relatable to Mother Mary, because I do love Mother Mary. So, um, and she's the goddess of compassion. She's always... I'm just so amazing. So I'm going to read you what the back of the box says. And I'm really going to take my time with this reveal because I'm really excited about this deck. Kuan Yin, radiant with divine compassion. The 44 cards in this deck guide you to a place of inner peace and beauty. Her energy reaches out to you from each card. The messages inspired by her presence and guiding voice contain her wisdom to help us live a loving and enlightened life that is practical, spiritual, and positive. The guidance in the messages and the practical exercises for each card nourish you on your spiritual path, help you realize that you are a divine soul, and learn to love, trust, and live your highest destiny in this lifetime. May your heart be opened and touched by her grace. May you realize her beauty is a mirror of your own divine soul. Blessings to you, beloved one. So, one thing that I did say that I love about Lana Fairchild is the, the depth of her decks without being too deep. And what I mean by that is, there are some authors, and the inside of the box is pink. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, a lot of authors, they I feel like they do too much. I feel like they they kind of not overcomplicate things, because I don't think that's exactly the right um the right word for it, but I feel like they, they put too much about a card. Um, I'm not going to list any authors, because that's, that's tacky. 
but there are some authors that have like four like parts that are like this long about a single card and I feel like while that's really good I feel like it kind of takes away from the true essence of the card because there's so much about it sometimes it just really confuses me other people love it there's a there's a girl that I watch her, I watch all of her reviews and she loves this author me I like the cards more than the book so the book is beautiful I don't know if you can see it but there's a slight border around this book there you go so I really really like it the back of the book is gorgeous um let's see how many pages is this not including so not including about the artist and author it's um a hundred and thirty eight pages sorry about that siren when I was coming from um so the card basically like all of Alana Fairchild's books you get a small representation of the card you get the name of the card a blurb and then one about two pages about it here you get um the pearl healing like with this particular card and then you get a prayer to Kuan Yin. So I've actually gotten guidance to work with Kuan Yin um, a few months back and never really hated it because I have so much going on that it's hard to incorporate another deity into a belief system that's already like grasping at like everything it can. <laughs> um, and not grasping in a bad way but grasping like I take things from everybody <laughs> from like every like major really positive religion. Um, so it's hard to incorporate somebody else and learn about somebody else. But I'm hoping this deck really helps me do that. Um, so the backs of these cards I'm already madly in love with. Madly in love with the backs of these cards. These are beautiful. This is, be this is more beautiful than the Isis deck and the Mother Mary deck. The card stock is really nice. It's standard. Oh, it's by Blue Angel Publishing, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Um, or in case you didn't know Alana Fairchild's publisher. Um, Blue Angel Publishing, um, love their cards. I'm really loving, the, like I said, the pink on the inside of the box really sets it off. I like that a lot. So I'm going to go through these cards. I'm going to find some really cool ones to show you, I believe. That's not it. Blessings of the Moon Maiden. I like that one. Blossoms of the Sky Dancer. And it looks like there is a little bit of artistic nudity in this deck. Um, however, it looks pretty. T it looks, you know, pretty tasteful. Dance of the Butterfly Queen. Ooh, I like this one. Daughter of the Phoenix. I'm gonna put that one aside because I like that one. I'm gonna read about that one. Drink from the Emerald Fountain. Dynasty of the Divine Mother. The Eight Immortals. Empress of the Pearl. Into the Jade Temple. Gates of Heaven. Here, the Yellow Tiger Mother. These are beautiful cards. These are absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this may be one of... Because I never read guidebooks all the way through. Um, just because I have... This is um, deck number 42 for me. So I have a lot of guidebooks. <laughs> and it's hard to to finish a book before I get another deck and I want to read that book. And then I get another deck and I want to read that book. Because I'm just one of those people. Maiden... Maku. Hmm. Many Hands of the Goddess. Mother Fierce. Mother of Mercy. Nectar of the Lotus. Orchid Priestess of Destiny. Princess of the Autumn Harvest. Radiant Moon of Compassion. Reveal the Peacock Beauty. Sacred River Yangtze. I murdered that. 
Shining Lotus. Sisters of the Star Blossoms. Sisters of the Sun Rising. Sound of the Fierce Flute. Let's see. This is the cover of the box and the book Tai Chi Rising. The Ten Sisters of Light. The Amaryllis Lute. The Book of Changes. The Dance Unveiling. The Lotus Throne. The Threshold. The Yin Empress. To the Celestial Mountain. Turquoise Lotus Mother. Veil of Shadows. And Weave the Future Golden. So that was all the cards, from, or most of the cards. And um, there were some I didn't show. But um, that was most of the cards from the Kuan Yin Oracle. Um, I'm actually really, really stoked about this deck. I feel like it's going to be one of those that is going to be really powerful. Because I know that the, the meditations in the Mother Mary Oracle are just so powerful and, and so effective that it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so I can't wait to see the, the healing processes and the prayers in this book um, to really get to know Kuan Yin a little bit better. So I am very excited about this deck, and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Hold on, I'm trying to get this book to stay. There we go. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reveal. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised by the artwork in this deck. So I think just the very artwork on the backs of the cards is going to really help ease kind of like a learning curve with, with these cards. So um, I love all of you, and thank you so much for tuning in. And all of my contact information is listed below. So I'm really excited to... Um, be reading for you guys. I also do have a couple of things in the works that I'm trying to get sorted out as far as a, um, like a video class, um, kind of like an introductory class about reading tarot. Um, and kind of, it'll be kind of like a video of, you know, here's where tarot comes from and, you know, here are what the basic card meanings mean. And here is kind of a, like spreads for the for this situation and you know spreads for that situation and how to really connect with the cards so that's going to kind of be a class it's going to be coming up soon the date I do not know um, I still have to kind of finish a little outline just so I have it to myself to be able to to film it and then figure out how to get it distributed so um and it's gonna be a very low cost class so it's gonna be very introductory but I'm really excited about it. And I know a lot of you are too. So I will be seeing you guys later. And angel blessings to each and every one of you. And blessings from the Holy Mother, Kuan Yin. And may she shine her face of compassion upon you. And have a very, very, very great day. Bye.